Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to walk you through Calendly and show you how you can use it to schedule your appointments and meetings with ease. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Here we are on the website, calendly.com. As you can see, the interface is simple, clean, and very user-friendly. For those who may not know, Calendly is essentially a scheduling software designed to help you organize and manage your meetings on your calendar. It's perfect for staying on top of your schedule. Now that you have a basic idea of what Calendly is, let's get started with signing up. The sign up process is super simple. All you need to do is enter your email address right here and click the sign up button. You can create a free account and the best part, no credit card is required. Once you've entered your email address, you can sign up. I personally prefer signing up with Google because it's quick and integrates seamlessly with my calendar, which is essential when using Calendly. Let me show you how to do this in just a few seconds. When you sign up, you'll go through the setup process. You can either configure everything now or skip and adjust settings later. I'll just click continue for now and I'll show you how to update these settings later. Next, you'll set your availability, which lets Calendly know when you're typically open to scheduling meetings. The default is 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday with weekends off. I'll go ahead and stick with that and click Continue. Now, you'll choose your role or the purpose for which you'll use Calendly. Click Finish. And that's it. You've signed up for Calendly and arrived at your dashboard. Let's close this pop-up and explore the dashboard further. You'll notice a sample meeting has already been created by Calendly to give you a preview. However, to fully utilize Calendly, we'll need to go into the account settings to customize it according to our preferences. Click on your account icon and then Account Settings. Here, you can manage your profile information, such as your name, language, date format and country. Double check that everything is accurate. Next, under branding, you can upload your logo. If you have one, it's a great idea to upload it as it enhances your professionalism. If you don't have one, that's okay. This step is optional. Under my link, you'll find your personal Calendly link. This is the URL people will use to book appointments with you. You can customize it to reflect your brand or name. Once you find an available name, click Save Changes. Now, let's move to the calendar connections. This step is crucial as it connects your calendar to Calendly, helping you stay organized. If you signed up with Google like I did, your calendar will already be connected. If not, you can manually add it by selecting your preferred email provider, such as Gmail, iCloud, or Outlook. Just click Connect, select your account, and you're all set. Back on the Home dashboard, let's create a new event. Click New Event Type. You can choose between options like one-on-one -on -one or group meetings. Name the event, add a location, in-person, virtual or phone, write a description and choose a link color. Now, configure additional settings like the date range, how far in advance people can book, the event duration, for example, 30 minutes, and buffer time, for example, 5 minutes before and after. Your new event is now visible on the dashboard. You can edit it, share the link, or delete it as needed. Finally, let's discuss pricing. Calendly offers several plans. Essentials. $10 per month includes two calendar connections, unlimited events, and integrations with Google, Meet, Zoom, and more. Team. $16 per month designed for collaborative teams with extra management tools. Enterprise starts at $1.15k per year. For most users, the professional plan is a great choice due to its comprehensive features, but the free version is also excellent for getting started. That's it for this video. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Thanks for watching.